Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about Vital Tantra. The topic for this video is connect with the invisible. We are surrounded by powerful energies. Energy realities that really care for us, that are engaging in our lives, protecting us, guiding us, challenging us. And when you don't activate this relationship to the invisible, you might feel extremely isolated in life. I believe that one of the reasons why there is so much depression going on in uh, Western cities in, in the world um, is really because there is a sense of separation. When you look at the modern Western lifestyle, you might end up living in a box, rooms, apartment. And then you go to work somewhere, you spend eight hours in a small office space as well. And when you go into the street, it's like this massive noise, uh, pollution, you are exposed to uh, toxins and ongoing background uh, energies and, and um, all this exposure actually doesn't connect you with the sense of harmony that is present in nature, for instance. So think about that. When is the last time that you touched an animal or that you touched a plant or a tree or that you put your hands in the soil or that you walk barefoot on the grass or that you put your feet in a river or touch a rock? If you are living in a city environment, you might be totally disconnected with these elemental forces. And uh, that disconnection creates a sense of loss because there is a sense of uh, separation and lack of nurturing. So right now we are talking about nature, but the power and the intelligence of the invisible is also unlimited. So. When you start tapping into your relationship with what you don't see around you, suddenly there is a massive expansion of your possibility and the role that you play on this planet. This part of vital tantra is what I call vital spirit. It's another channel on my website, which is called spiritual power. And the idea here is to consciously connect with the invisible. We use mantras, we use prayers, we use rituals, dances, uh, mindsets, alignment of your own energies to forces that are at play and much faster than ourselves. So here is an example of how to do that. Right now, I'm in this beautiful island of Bali, right? When I arrive on this island, my intention is to establish a conscious connection with the spirit of the island. The spirit of the island is not a human-like being. It's not a human form. It's a field of energy. And I consider that the island is intelligent, and can actively communicate with me. To actively communicate with me, I need to establish a line of energy and send an intention to be here, to serve and be in harmony with that spirit. So I call the spirit of Bali, Bali-ya. And a very simple way to activate that connection is simply to use that word. The word Baliya, I invented it, okay? I made it up. It means that it came to me as a form of frequency or resonance. I was there and then suddenly I thought, oh, I need a, a name for Bali and rather than using the word Bali, which is uh, connected with a certain set of neuropathways and associations, 
um, I wanted a new word which is something more transcendental and more unique. So here we go. The word Balia emerged and now I have been around this island for a while singing very often the mantra Balia. So I use the word Balia and then I connect it with uh, the word for instance Gracia which is gratitude. Gracia Balia, Gracia Balia, Gracia Balia, Gracia Balia. And right now I'm next to the ocean. So I'm going to invoke the ocean as well, the power of the ocean. And I could use some ancient term, a Sanskrit term, a Latin term. The term that I use for the ocean is Oceana. Gracia, Oceana, Gracia, Balia. Gracia, Oceana, Gracia, Balia. You see what's happening? Like suddenly instead of being this separated entity, I start becoming a being which is energetically connected with not only the island but the ocean around us as well. And I could keep on expanding with adding other aspects of invisible energy realities I would like to connect with. For instance, I can add the word vita. So thank you, life. Gracia vita. Gracia vita. So see now I already have a sequence, I already have a poem. I already have an invocation that I can use. I'm going to go and jog on the beach and I, I go like Gracia Balia, Gracia Oceana, Gracia Vita, Gracia Vita, Gracia Balia, Gracia Oceana, Gracia Vita, Gracia Vita, Gracia Balia, Gracia Oceana, Gracia Vita, Gracia Vita. Gracia Balia, Gracia Oceana, Gracia Vita, Gracia Vita. And uh, I could expand, right? I could make some more complex melody, keep on adding words, and then suddenly I have this whole invocation of uh, connecting, you know, connection with uh, the island, with uh, the ocean, and with my own life or the life force that is permeating all of humankind on this planet. You see how simple it is. The, um, the moment I start doing this, uh, I feel like there is some, some warmth, a feeling coming through my body and through my mind that really gives me this sense of expansion, pleasure, fun, connection, security. It's like it simply, simply works inside my system. And of course, I didn't start with these invocations yesterday, okay? I've been invoking angelic powers and many more invisible forces for a long, long time. My first uh, practices when I was a teenager, you know? So it's, it has been in my field for a long time and it's not necessarily natural for anybody. But a good place to start if you want to um, connect with this sense of uh, gratitude with towards the invisible around you, start with the word uh, gracia vita, thank you life, gracia vita, gracia vita, gracia vita, thank you life. We are so lucky, life is a miracle, I'll see you soon.